Hey guys, so it's Ross, and uh, today I want to talk to you all about what I'm doing this weekend because it's like the first free weekend I've had in a little bit, and it's been kind of uh, rainy. We've had a lot of rain the last week. A lot of my figs have been splitting, and uh, the temperatures are starting to get cooler now. So now that we get to mid-September, uh, temperatures around here just go down, down, down. We're in the fall, so this is a good time to start planting your trees. And I kind of want to do this early in the fall because I want to get some growth. I want to get some root growth, root development before the uh, season ends. So we planted over here. I rarely show you guys this bed, but in here is all kinds of blueberries. And these all have fruited for me this year. This is their second year in the ground. So this is a newer planting. And we also have a lot of the Mara de Bois strawberries here. And these guys are an ever-bearing, and they will fruit a lot. Uh, they put out smaller strawberries that are very uh, good tasting. They have like a conquered grape taste to them. And then we just planted here another persimmon. And we're going to kind of join this bed. You know, the straw here is going to kill a lot of the grass, any weeds. And then we'll eventually put down some wood chips and connect this to this current existing bed. Uh, but we also have in here, you know, strawberries, lavender, there's other persimmons. Um, we have like things like gooseberries, as you can see down here is a gooseberry. And then we have honeyberries as well. And then back over here, we just planted another bush cherry. So this one is called, this one's Romeo. I also have Juliet and I have um, Carmine Jewel. And then this guy here is a gooseberry. It doesn't look too great, I think, because we had a little bit of a dry period, a honeyberry. And then my persimmons, we have persimmons in here that are actually fruiting on this young tree, which is really cool. But let's show you guys the backyard. So we'll take you on a little bit of a walk real quick. And I want to show you guys what's going on in the backyard. So here you can see my tomatoes and all that, and potted plants. You guys know where we're at now. And this whole area, for the most part, has been changed. Uh, as I talked about in a previous video, we put this stake in the ground. We have this wire going across. Uh, we put plum trees in the, the ground over here. And these plum trees will be a spy aid along these wires here, just like my peaches. And these are on standard rootstock. I think that's really important to have uh, for most of your fruit trees. We just put in a grafted persimmon that I grafted myself. This is Sejo, the very best one. It is the best one. Uh, but we have two plums here. And then we have the kiwi vine going across this wire here. So this is going to form a pretty nice, interesting little... I think more ornamental feel to it. If you come down here, you can kind of get a feel for what this is going to look like if you look straight ahead. So pretty interesting how we'll have a, a nice little espalier there and espalier there and across this pole here or this wire will be a nice kiwi vine that will kind of arch over this way. And then underneath we'll have different various shrubs that we have currently existing. But this whole area has been kind of open for the most part. So we just dug some holes. You know, we planted the persimmon over there, but we have more persimmons to put in the ground. These are two American types that if I'm not a big fan of the Americans, which I think I'm not going to be, we're going to graft uh, Asian persimmons onto them, probably Sejo in the future. Um, so we have two holes here dug for them. And then we have back here, these are two uh, pears. And pears actually do quite well here. And I talked to you guys in a previous video as well. What would I do differently if I could start all over again? You know, what, what are the things that I would plant? And these are the things I would. I would plant a lot of pears because pears actually do pretty well here. I would do uh, persimmons, pawpaw, you know, um, like we have in the front, bush cherries. So. These are the things I wanted to get in the ground and kind of develop these and I wish I had done this three years ago when I planted most of my fruit trees in the ground. 
So in this video, to wrap this up, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to put these fruit trees in the ground very quickly. You can see that these holes are not very deep. So if I can get this out of the pot, hopefully semi-easy. It's really tough guys getting pot or getting trees out of the grow bags. It's one reason why I don't like the grow bags. But you don't want to disturb the roots guys. Unless you have to. And I think with these grow bags you almost have to. So here we go, the, the hole here is not very deep, as you guys can see. But we're gonna stick this on here. We may actually have to go deeper. But the point I'm trying to make here, guys, is that I want my trees, in, at least in this area, Pennsylvania, 40 inches of rain annually. I want most of my trees on a mound. I don't wanna plant them very deep. I don't want to plant them level with the, the ground because it's just too much water and a lot of fruits will lose some bricks, lose some flavor with excess water. So um, if maybe I can show you guys in this hole a little bit better. But what we would do is plant this guy kind of at about this height. We would take the excess dirt here and cover this and make a bit of a mound. We're gonna cover all the roots, obviously. And then when we're done, is I have a lot of straw. And this is the key, guys. Getting a lot of this straw or getting a lot of mulch. And we're gonna cover the majority of this area with mulch. We're gonna kill a lot of the grass this way, kind of create its own little bed, maybe connected to this bed over here that I created this year as a hue culture bed this is what this is and we'll connect all that I could put a lot of my yard waste here to compost down over time maybe add some wood chips and then what we could do is underneath some of these fruit trees that are gonna go in here you know they're gonna get pretty tall so what we'll do is we'll actually put some fruiting shrubs maybe some ground covers maybe like strawberries and then that way we can have pretty nice decent system going on here and uh, maximize our space that way so that's the video guys I wanted to just show you really quickly uh, what I was doing this year kind of what's going on this weekend and then you guys can get to see this for years to come so thank you all for watching take care